Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about the DS1307 real time clock and how to use it with Arduino. So, real time clocks are very important in the applications. We need to keep track of current time even when the main power supply to the microcontroller is turned off, for example, in data logging systems. One of the challenges of using Arduino is that it has an inbuilt timer which can be programmed to keep track of time, maybe in minutes and hours. But the problem is that when the power supply to the Arduino is turned off, then this timer is reset, meaning it cannot be used efficiently to keep track of current time. Therefore, you need an external real-time clock, for example, the DS1307, which is a very common example. In all my previous tutorials, I also used a generic DS1307 RTC, this one here, and I demonstrated how to use it with Arduino. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this module here. This is the tiny RTC, and it's a very common module which can be got in a number of online shops. So let's have a closer look at this RTC module. So as you can see on this side of the module, there are output and input, input pins on both sides of the module, this side and that side. And but they're almost the same, so you can use whichever side you prefer. The main pins we have the DS, the device select. This is the serial clock pin. This is the serial data pin, meaning that this device uses I2C communication. So this is the VCC or the power supply and this is the ground pin. Uh, this pin is almost the same this side, although this side there is a, another pin which is SQ or which is the square wave pin. This one used to output square waves of 1 hertz, 4 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz or 32 kilohertz. Then also there is another pin here which is battery, so it's connected to a battery backup for the module. Other components worth noting here, this is the 32 kilohertz crystal oscillator. Then this is the main chip for this module, which is the DS1307 uh, C chip. So using this chip, you can be able to keep track of time in seconds, minutes, hours, and even days of the week and years. Then this side we have the external EEP ROM, which you can use to store some extra data. These two chips both use I2C communication and also share the same I2C bus when being connected to the microcontroller. Then the other aspect I want to talk about are these three pins here as you can see. These pins are very important if you want to connect a temperature sensor. Normally connect uh, the DS18B20 temperature sensor here and the temperature readings are put out using this DS pin. I'm making a tutorial giving an example of how to connect that temperature sensor to this RTC module. Then on the back side here, there's a coin cell battery. This is the CR2030 3 volts lithium battery. This is what enables the module to keep track of time even when the power supply to the core controller is turned off. And normally when you're setting the time for this RTC module, when you want to reset the time, you simply remove the battery and the, then you can be able to reset the time. But if the battery is still there, then whenever you are reading the time, you are always going to be reading the time that was initially set for this RTC module. So let me now show you how this module is wired up with Arduino. Connecting the DS1307 RTC to Arduino is very simple, as I have shown here. Since it is using I2C communication, so you simply connect the serial clock pin to F5 of Arduino and the serial data pin to F4. Then the ground pin will go to ground and then uh, the VCC goes to 5 volts power supply. So from here we can look at the code that we are going to be using. Before using the DS1309 RTC with Arduino, we need to install the necessary libraries. So in our Arduino IDE, we go to tools, then manage libraries, then we look for RTC lib. Yeah, this is the library from Adafruit, the one you are going to be using in our project. So make sure you have this library installed. So after installing the necessary libraries, then you need to check if our LTC is working properly. So you can use an inbuilt example. We go to file example, then look for RTC lib and select the DS1307 example. So that you can begin checking out our real time clock module. So this is the DS1307. So an example which is inbuilt in the RTC lib library. This example you can use it to test our real-time clock module whereby we can be able to display the time, the year, the month, day, hour, minute and seconds on the serial monitor. The most important thing here 
is that this sketch helps you to set the time on your RLTC. So if you just use the RLTC dot adjust the time, if you use this method here, you are simply going to adjust to set the time for the RLTC using the time on your computer. If you want to set the RLTC to a specific time, then you are going to uncomment out this one. This is the method that you are going to use. For example, in this case, I'm simply going to use the time on my computer. So I'll just use this one, the first one. Uh, then there's an example here. For example, if you want to set the time to 2014, January 21st, 3 a.m. So you use this kind of setup here. I will now upload this code on my Arduino and then we see the outcome. So the code is now uploaded. And if you open the serial monitor here, and as you can see now, it will begin showing the time that is on my computer, the time that has been set on my computer. So, but if you're going back in the code, then you can set the clock to show you the specific, specific time that you want. So from here, let me give an example of how you can be able to display this time on an LCD. So this is the setup you are going to be using to display the readings of the RTC on the I2C LCD display. And both of these uh, devices are using I2C communication, therefore they are going to be very easy to connect to the Arduino. So for both the I2C LCD and the DS1307 RTC, they will have a common ground and common power supply and even the serial clock and serial data lines will be shared. So in both cases, the serial clock will be connected to Arduino pin A5 and the serial data is going to be to Arduino analog pin A4 as be shown here. Let me now take you through the code to see how this works. Now this is the code we are going to be using to display the time on I2C LCD. So we are going to be using the wire.h for I2C communication, then the liquid crystal I2C.h library for the LCD and then the RTC lib library for the real time clock. The code is almost similar to the one that I've already talked about before. We have only included the parts for showing or displaying because the first example we are showing the time on the serial monitor. So now we have changed that part of the serial monitor to LCD display. And I've also had very many examples where I've talked about how to use the LCD display in a number of projects. So you can always make reference on how this works. I also put a link in the description below where you can be able to have access to the code that I've used in this project so that you can look at it more in detail. So from here, I can be able to upload this code to my Arduino and observe what happens. So after uploading this code, you are going to see that the time is going to be displayed, the current time, the hour, a minute and a second, and even you display the day, the month and the year as being shown here on the LCD. So that's how the DS. 1307 RTC works with Arduino and I2C LCD. Hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to like my tutorials and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.